Hi there, my name is Laura and welcome to another video bringing you the best information to help you improve your riding and training and horse show placings. Today's video is about keeping in balance with your horse and keeping a balanced riding position and why it's so important. If it's your first time here, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos coming out. So let's get started. So rather than going on a horse, I thought I'd do a demonstration for you off a horse so you can see if you're not in balance even off the horse that you're not going to be in balance on the horse so to be in balance on the horse you have to be in balance off the horse and that's what I'm doing right here and you can see right here in this video that uh, I'm just standing here to show you the correct posture and if you don't have good posture to start with then the posture you have every day is going to be the posture you have on your horse and if you have bad posture walking around going in the grocery store walking from class to class or in gym class or whatever then you're going to have bad po bad posture on top of your horse and that's one reason why it's so important if you're driving in your car or walking at the shopping mall or walking getting groceries or wherever it is that you think to yourself well do I have good posture? Are my shoulders up? I'm am I walking in balance? Because what you take in your normal everyday walking is going to be the same as what you bring on to your horse. So just remember to keep about your keep thinking about your posture. And this is one of the worst things for your posture because you crane your neck down and um, tech neck looking Take down on the time. back straight your spine straight mm. shoulders on each side chest open spine above your hips and you can see here I'm just kind of getting myself into a regular riding position which is straight line ear, shoulder, hip, heel, and you can see that straight line, ear, shoulder, hip, heel right here. A balanced rider has good posture, so you have to be thinking about your posture all the time, right? From the ground to the horse, you have to have decent posture. If you slouch when you're not on your horse, you're going to slouch when you get on your horse. And slouching is bad because it, your weight, you can't breathe, you don't engage your core, and it puts pushes all the weight to the back of the horse, to the weakest part of the horse. So remember to sit up properly, open up your chest to engage your core and to, um, so you can breathe properly too. A balanced rider sits in balance with the horse and that comes from good po posture and sitting in balance with the horse. So if you were to take that horse away from underneath, I've said this before, if you take that horse away from underneath you, you are gonna land in a straight line, ear, shoulder, hip, heel. We're going to see in this next little bit about uh, what happens if you're not in balance. So if you purposefully try to misalign your body and get out of balance, here's what's going to happen. There's a rider in when balance. When you're in balance, you can, lean to this, you can reach forward, you can reach to the right, you can reach to the left, and you still are in really good balance with yourself and with the horse. But if you try start to tip forward, then uh, you get off balance and you can see here I've tipped forward a little bit. I've raised my heels up is what I did and you can see that I'm not in balance anymore. I'm looking down, I'm not looking up anymore and I'm off balance. So there I'm just repositioning myself and getting back in balance. First thing you, you notice that one of the things that I do when I reposition myself is to look up straight ahead. Looking up straight ahead keeps your head aligned, keeps your spine aligned aligned and it gets your body in line with the horse. You can see when I lean, leaned forward my eyes dropped down and couldn't see where I was going but one of the first things I did to realign myself was look up pick a focal point pick a spot on the wall ahead of me so that I could get myself aligned. Now here you can see I'm trying to lean back really hard to lean back and you can try this exercise on your own as well uh, just stand put yourself in the correct riding position and um, 
Just stand up, put yourself in a riding position if you, as if you were sitting on a horse and bend your knees, get your straight line, ear, shoulder, hip, heel. And you know what? This is a great idea. Do that. Send me a picture. I'd love to see it. If you do this exercise, just take a, a selfie of it or ask somebody to take a picture of it for you and send it in to me, thistleridge at hotmail.com. I'd love to, uh, if, if you do that, I'm I'll make an entire video of all the people who, uh, who did that. That would be great. I love that. And what I see from doing the position reviews is a lot of people are standing up in their stirrups and tipping forward, particularly over top of the jumps. That's kind of little bit uh, it puts you off balance and also puts the horse off balance remember to stay in balance with your horse and the first thing you have to do is be is have good pasture good pasture good posture pasture posture good posture off the horse and you're going to take that onto the horse keep your straight line ear shoulder hip heel so there's a good quick tip for you to practice before you get on your horse the next time my name is Laura, and thanks so much for watching. Now, go hug your horse. Go use this stuff. Go hug your horse. Thanks now. Bye.